Hey, good evening everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Yachtman Reacts, and tonight we have a request for um, Robbie Williams' Angels Live at Nebworth. Um, yep, this is a paid request, someone made a donation to the Buy Me A Coffee page, and asked for this video specifically, it's £2 to request a video to be done, like, immediately. The person who requested this, they asked for this, like, 8 o'clock this morning or something, or, it, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I just got a, me I got a message at like 8 o'clock this morning, so I guess that's when the request was made, but they didn't, like, send the payment until about 12, but anyway, the person that, yeah, they so someone's asked for this, um, it's Robbie Williams, like, Nebworth, um, I'm a fan of Robbie Williams, I'm, a, I'm familiar with him, I listened to his music growing up, and this is probably my favourite song, apart from maybe... I don't know which I'd say is my other favourite, really. I mean, Rock DJ was good because it had the video that you weren't allowed to watch as a kid. So it was kind of like, you know, it was a song that you could be rebellious by listening to and looking at because it had that video that you weren't allowed to see. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, this this is the classic. This is the one that everybody remembers. And uh, it's really weird that somebody has requested this because he's just dropped a documentary on Netflix. And I watched... A little bit of it last night. I loved it. But anyway, this is Angels at Nebworth. I think there's 300,000 people at this concert. They covered it a bit in the documentary. Anyway, let's go. You've watched me grow up so far. I want to get older with you lot. Please, please, don't leave me. This is Angels. See the Lord. Does an angel contemplate my faith? I love this song. Do they know wow. the places where we go when we're gray and old? That's better. Cause I've been told. That salvation lets their wings unfold. So when I'm lying in my bed, thoughts running through my head, and I feel that love is dead, I'm loving angels instead, and through it. Wow! When I feel a leaf and my pain walks down the one way street. Wow! I look above. Just miles of people. And I know I'll always be blessed with love. And as the feeling grows, she breathes flesh to my bones. But when love is dead, I'm loving angels instead. When all she offers me protection, a lot of love and affection, whether I'm right or wrong. Wow. Come on! She wants to save me. I'm loving angels instead. Wow! I've got chills, literally. Goosebumps.
I know he does that live. I've heard him singing this live once and I remember that and I really like that. Oh. oh. I'm loving angels instead. Wow. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. He's having a good time and everybody else is. Don't feel well, <laughs> you know? That is unbelievable. Like, oh, no. I was right, wasn't I? It's like 375,000 people were at that concert. Right? Pretty sure that's correct. I don't know why I was feeling a bit emotional. I, I, maybe it's just, you know, I'm looking at a guy who's been absolutely loved by nearly half a million people in front of him. <laughs> you know? That is, that is surreal. <laughs> Wow. I can't remember if that's the perform... Because, uh, you know, as, as I said, I was into Robbie as a kid, but as I got older, I kind of... As a kid, I was all about my pop music. You know, Robbie Williams, Westlife, uh, s American singers like Celine Dion, Pink, things like that. But then as I got older, I moved away from that and moved towards like rap and rock music. C kind of forgot about all those. But then the documentary popped up a few weeks ago, and I watched most of it last night. In fact, I don't even lie to you, I, I binged the entire thing last night. The entire documentary, the entire series, last night and one night, and it was brilliant. It was literally just Robbie sat on his bed, in a tank top and underwear, going through uh, unseen footage that, that's that been, you know, him film filming him in the like the height of his fame he hasn't even seen it and he's kind of picking it apart and saying this is where I was at this stage and uh, yeah I can't remember if they brought this up I'm pretty sure this was in it I think this was but there's no date on it wait it says Nebworth there 2003 So maybe, maybe it's 2003 then. 
so if I'm thinking about how the documentary lined up, that's when he was like a proper drug addict and in a dark place. Like the only thing keeping him going on on the stage was his steroids and his coke. But even so, he's he's a great performer. He's a brilliant performer. He's a great he's a great singer. He just is. He's a great singer. He made some great music with Guy, and he's one of the biggest stars that this country's ever produced. It's crazy how it it'll never make sense to me how he didn't make it in America because his music, you know, it, it sounds it's pop music. But he kind of gave up on America because it was just such a big task him on his own trying to take on America. It's crazy. But yeah, that was a a paid request. I really enjoyed that. Literally just throughout the entire thing, I felt like I don't know, like I had little bugs crawling all over my back. It was weird. I mean, the eating, eating's been on for two hours, it's boiling in here, but I felt cold. That's what it was like. Beautiful. I might do that one next. She's the one. I love that song. If you want to see me do that one, then you, you can ask for that. Or if you're a patron, you can ask for that. But yeah, beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Seeing all those people. Wow. I think the only other artist or artists to... Pulling a crowd that big at Nebworth was Queen. Was it Nebworth that they got a crowd of like 400,000 people out or was it somewhere else? I'm pretty sure it was Nebworth. That sounds familiar. I think they got something like that many. Just shows you how big he was. And it wasn't just like one day. This was like, he did this like three days in a row. So like over a million people in total came to see him. Yeah, he was he was massive, absolutely massive. You wouldn't think it when you go on his YouTube channel and you look at his, you know, his biggest hits. None of them are, like, when you look at Eminem's biggest hits or Taylor Swift or Ed Sheeran, you know, getting either all over a billion views or getting close to it. He's nowhere near a billion views on any of his songs, but that doesn't matter because he was massive. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video if you did. Uh, if you'd like to see me re react to something uh, specific, you can make a donation to the Buy Me A Coffee page, link in the description. I also have a Patreon that you can join from $1 a month, and if you make a request when you're in that tier, you get it done straight away as well. So, yeah. But this YouTube channel isn't monetized, so, you know, I'm not making money off this content that you're watching on YouTube, only on what's on Patreon and paid requests, so that's why I keep mentioning it. I know it might be annoying, but I can't stress it enough, this channel is not monetized, and I will never be able to monetize it. Long story, but if you want to know, then... Message me on Facebook or Patreon and I'll explain. I'm not explaining it publicly. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.